could a woman warrior wielding a divine weapon of destruction be a savior? Regardless of your position on the matter, it's safe to say that the PlayStation 3 could use an original AAA action game. Heavenly Sword may not set a new standard, but it comes out swinging with plenty of spirit and determination. Everything revolves around the game's namesake, the Heavenly Sword. A noble clan of warriors has it, an evil king wants it, and it's unsheathed by a red-haired Amazonian badass named Nariko, who raises it against an evil army. The catch is that the sword slowly takes its user's life, so throughout the course of the game, you always have it in the back of your mind that while Nariko is killing scores of enemies, she's also killing herself. It's an interesting dynamic, and one that keeps the player guessing. Oddly enough, the game begins with Nariko facing down an entire army and ultimately succumbing to the Blade's curse. The rest of the game is told as a flashback, with the player eventually looping back around to the opening cutscene. The storytelling can be a little melodramatic, as martial arts epics tend to be, and the pace feels a bit rushed in the final act, but it's interesting enough to keep you moving through the game. When the dawn comes, we will be outnumbered by a thousand to one. But we are warriors. Heavenly Sword approaches the classic action-adventure formula with the next-generation production plan. Combat is king here, with other elements falling into line behind it. When you're not cracking skulls by the bushel, you take in brief but lavishly produced cutscenes. I need protection. There are those who wish to expunge me. Or solve light environmental puzzles, standing between you and the next group of soon-to-be-dead men. While Noriko and her sword are the stars, you'll switch off to her cat girl sidekick, Kai, fairly regularly. You've had your playtime. It's Kai's turn now. Though you'll spend a lot more time wielding the heavenly sword, there's plenty of long-range shooting to be done. Steering Kai's bolts into various enemy body parts is one of the best applications of the PS3's motion-sensitive six-axis controller yet. But it's still much easier to do with the analog stick. It's nice to have the choice, at least. One of the issues with the design is the lack of weaponry. You get a couple of swords and the crossbow, and that's about it. You can't even upgrade your weapons for new attacks. You won't go far without running into one of the game's unusual bosses. These formidable foes are capable of trading blows with you on a fairly even basis, forcing you to wait for specific opportunities to push the offensive and hopefully get the chance to initiate a powerful choreographed attack. The pacing is good, though incredibly linear, and you may feel like you're having flashbacks of your own as many activities tend to repeat. By the time you've run the gauntlet, you'll have done it all twice over. Fortunately, almost all of it will have been good. In Heavenly Sword's frantic multi-man melees, the school of button mashing and the school of finesse collide. Noriko's sword skills have three forms, speed, range, and power. The idea is to connect the right attack to the right enemy at the right time, keeping weenies at bay with your chain-swinging ranged attacks, matching heavy hits to batter down the defenses of heavy hitters, and laying into enemies with speed attacks when you see an opening. You can also switch from one stance to the other midstream. Blocking is equally, if not more, important. Depending on the color of an enemy's attacks, you'll need to match your stance to block it. Attacking right after a successful block lets you deal a killing blow with a counterattack, which is essential for getting through battles more quickly. And even more importantly, they look cool. You can't jump unless you're pulling off a cooler than it is functional aerial attack, but the right analog stick can roll you out of danger when you see it coming. New sequences are unlocked in set order as you go, but the list caps off fairly quickly and the longer attack sequences aren't necessarily more effective. You can memorize a few effective combos and then pull them out at the appropriate moments, or just mash and hope for the best, which tends to work as long as you're in the right stance. Skillful and repeated fighting lets you unleash three levels of super-style attacks, where you grab an unfortunate enemy and inflict upon him ancient and very painful-looking martial arts techniques, often directed at the enemy's groin. There are nine of these damaging and ass-kickingly impressive attacks, which is great, 
although there's not a whole lot of difference between using one or the other. Like air combos, the quick time event has become par for the course in modern action games, and they're present here as well. Heavenly Sword sequences score high on choreography and often allow you to flub one or two parts of the sequence and still scrape by. Even if you screw the whole thing up, you're still able to try it again. On top of the melee, there's a surprising amount of shooting in Heavenly Sword, which isn't limited to Crazy Kai's twing twangy killing sprees. Stuck in your head. Now Rico will be called on several times to man heavy artillery to wreck enemy catapults or blow away foot soldiers, adding impressively to the pile of dead bodies you can claim direct responsibility for. Heavenly Sword is a slick playing game with a unique combat system that places as much emphasis on defense as it does offense. There's not a great deal of variety and a lot of the depth is more perception than reality, but it's incredibly responsive and satisfying. The game has its own style that really comes through in cutscenes, using split screen to deliver dialogue without taking away player control. He had as much spirit as a dead moth, but you are full of spirit. And often having characters directly address the camera during monologues. Why have you taken me now? Please, send me back. This wouldn't amount to much if not for the excellent performances full of dramatic gestures and absolutely incredible voice work. The whole plan will bow to me and bask in my reflected glory. <sighs> the occasional frame rate stutter doesn't go unnoticed, but even with a few technical hitches, the number of characters on screen in some scenes still impresses. The art direction is unique, and from both a technical and artistic standpoint, Heavenly Sword sits on the PS3's top shelf. For a game that started out as an Xbox project many moons ago, it's puzzling why Heavenly Sword is so incredibly short. With just seven hours of play and little replay value, it's the ultimate rental. While it includes a few new ideas, it isn't a revelation that will rock the world, but it's still one of the better action games available for the PlayStation 3. Nariko may not be a savior, but she will be remembered as a worthy and capable hero.